everyone. Here we are. It is time to do some front shock absorbers on the 57. So, um, while that one may look a little heavier dutier, spinning, depending on how you sp uh, spell duty on that, terrible joke, we've got the new AC Delcos going in. So, um, while that's off, I might give it a little spray doodle of some undercoating on the frame where I had missed in the past. You can see the new brake hoses uh, right about there um, from last winter. So prior to the starting of filming this, I already removed the wheel, jacked it up, got it on the solid front axle, and I am going to do my best to get these bolts off. Um, there are two bolts. They are pretty straightforward and simple, but as it is 9 o'clock, I just dealt with a 45-minute fit from a 3-year-old. We're going to do the absolute best here to get these off. And while I don't have any awesome uh, impact guns, I'm going to do my absolute best to do this the old-school method. If it is anything like the rears, I'm estimating the hardest part of this is going to be getting the actual shock itself off of the mounting posts. So I'm going to crack these loose and go from there. Oh, and this just got harder. Now we've got the whole bolt spinning on the top, so let's try the bottom. Give it a little love. Oh, mother of pearl. All right. Oh, holy guacamole. There, there. Okay, break apart time. And adaptor. Oh, <laughs> this might have been one of those I shouldn't have filmed. Or, I'll just narrate over it later. Here we go again. Swap that out. Wheel just crushed me. This puppy's gonna break. I got a feeling. Oh my god. All right. This might be a, a super soaker. What on earth does that mean? That means overnight. We're gonna let this beast soak in the aerocroil juice. So, that is one of my favorite products on the planet. We're gonna give it a little soaky soak. Un poquito mas on that one and see just we can get just what we can get in here with a little torch uh, and a little air coil. So air coil is like PD, it's like WD-40 and all that fun stuff, but just infinitely better. So leave that for a second. We're gonna get a wrench for the top and see what we can do for that top bolt besides struggle. And we're going to move this wheel over here so I don't get crushed by it again. Bah! Good part about this old beast is getting to use my standard wrenches. See, someone used a torch, blew a hole through the inner fender uh, on the last one, or uh, upon the last replacement, so get in there sneaky sneaky maybe with five eighths Ow. we'll see oh you could just tell that's how my whole day's gone today let's do this well if 
it's not 5 eighths, say it's bedtime. I mean, let's try 11 sixteenths. Oh, no. This little shooty poop is going to be a three quarter. Cue the critics, but I don't see you cranking it out. Alright, let us go. And a lot harder doing everything sideways. Kind of makes me miss doing struts. Oh my god. I miss impact guns. Bruh. Get some more oops juice in here. That was loud. Uh. You guys are going to love this one. Ow. All right. We got a lock nut. A lock washer, a lock washer, oh, and there's a couple more behind there. So that's going to be an interesting removal. We're going to spray and soak this, uh, and I think we're going to give that a minute. Soak, we're going to hit the bottom with a torch. All right, well, here we go again with a torch that was approved for the Lake Placid 1980 Olympic Games. <laughs> A state sale find. Yes, he, yes, he go. Oh, oh. I had a cigar right now. Oh. Oh. This is, this is embarrassing. Let's see if I got a better striker. Oh, yeah. I guess a flint would help, eh? Do over. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sorry, you can't see much, folks, but I'm moving the flammables away. Got to get the heat right on that nut. Give that a minute too. You're embarrassing me. Oh God! <laughs> that hurt. I have a bruise tomorrow. I do it for you, everybody. I caramba. Oh, good thing. I think I got a new dent in my chesticle. That hurt really bad. Oh, my hand's turning a weird new shade. All right. Try this with the rachete. See what happens here. Oh, yeah. We have movement, ladies and germs. Oh, 
Too much movement. <laughs> Let's see how many spacers or nuts or washers. Oh, come off on this one. Ah, oh, the enthusiasm. Didn't even have to soak it all night. Probably didn't hit record. No, we're good. Beep, beep. All right. Another lock washer. Beautiful. And God, I don't even know what in the fraggle knuckles this is. What on earth? I know it's a little warm. Time to, well, cheat a little. Never do that with your tools, respect them. Okay, that's stuck on there. We're going to spray it, soak it, and come right back. All right, back at it. We're gonna try two things. Number one, I'm gonna put this not so fancy nut on top. Should thread in. If it doesn't, well, try something else. But since we got new hardware, oh great, this is the spinny doodle. Um, my ignorance here, I'm protecting the thread. And we're gonna beat this son of a gun through. If it works, that's good enough. Oh, okay. Now I don't even need to. Son of a poop. But I guess that did it. Just like so. Yeah, you could be doing this in a carport, on a patio, or whatever. So you remember we pulled off, oh, just one more washer. So two lock washers, but here's the interesting thing. It is a bolt. I'm gonna have to hit some of the wire brush to see if that's even graded. I'm guessing it's a five, but with a shock absorber, there's minimal load. Now we gotta hit this bottom, this little party animal. You know what, this shock is still actually decently good with the resistance here, but we're going to get these on here and see if we can crank it or uh, shake it loose or crust it loose. If I could get it right. Dag nab it. There we go. All right, someone's homemade washer. Oddly enough, they never make them out of solid gold. I don't even know what this is. I'd say it's just a regular bushing, but it's actually got another collar inside. Interesting. Well, now... Here's the part I was dreading, but since this is the old shock, I think we are just going to destroy that rubber bushing and get it out of here. Wow. Pretty big shock right there. Um, spray. One thing I learned is, if you're thinking right now, beat it with a hammer. Can't really beat rubber with a hammer. You can try, but you can try it. All right, oops. Gonna keep her short. And we're just gonna lube it and ease it off, hopefully. Oh, going slowly but surely. All right, and that is the shock removal. And I'm just gonna throw this right, I'm just kidding. All right, so we got the shock off. What I'm going to do next is polish and clean this up a little bit. See if the mounting hardware that came with this shock set is something that I kinda wanna maybe do and swap those out. So let's take a look at what we got inside here. But it's all gonna depend on the angle. Um, 
But you know what, this is pretty beautiful, meaty. And I have a former student who's a machine operator who makes things like that. So in his, uh, his honor, I think we might actually throw those on. So we gotta see how easy this bottom's gonna come off. Uh, we're gonna throw that in the top, no bout to doubt it, because that's gonna go in quite easy. And we have the remaining hardware. And then, once I stop dropping everything, uh, we're gonna clean this up with a wire brush. We're gonna hit it with some undercoating. Then we're gonna hit it with the new black shocks. And I think we are gonna have something that looks pretty fantastic. So, hold on one sec. We'll be back and let's hit the wire brush. So, I just started scraping this and like, that's like factory clean frame. That's unbelievable. And fresh scratches. So, keep hitting it. Hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. See how pretty we can make it before we squirt it with a little undercoating. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here we go. USA. Crustersons. Normally, never mind. Won't say that on tape. <laughs> then we're going to get the wire brushicle and see. How good that does. Oh, little, whoop. it's like a frog in here. It's all rivets. That wasn't funny. Gosh, that is a clean frame. Unbelievable. Definitely not like a roadster shop frame, but you know, that'd be nice. Sponsor me. All right, wire brush. Fusers. All right, we're going to give that some time for the dust to settle. Then I'm going to hit it with a little squirty squirt. Oh, what I love. Rust-Oleum spray undercoating. Ow. Oh, pinky crusher. Rubberized or not, it works great and make sure you got the little dot painted towards the nozzle or pointed towards the nozzle because the red dot is where the pickup tube comes down towards the front of the can so wherever that dot is you'll get a ton of spray that way if you're aiming down if you have to aim up put the dot on the back side spray up and i learned this from a student whose mother actually worked in the um customer care or Gosh, I'm trying to think. Consumer complaint line for rust -oleum. So, good thing to know. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mmm, should have masked. Yep. And if you go a little bit further away, you can match the texture of elsewhere. So this will make my garage smell <laughs> real good. Here we go. Why not add a coat or two, eh? You'll look so good. Looks pretty good for now. We'll let this dry. And tomorrow, lovely Saturday morning or afternoon, uh, 
we are going to start getting some shocks mounted to this. So, hit like, hit subscribe right now to take your break for the day. And we are going to make this an even cooler situation tomorrow. All right, we are back at it. And I have these ready. What are these? Ooh, the hardware for uh, the focus, anyway, um, to mount the shocks. So I got a pre, kind of pre together, pre assembled uh, for top and bottom. I'm gonna have these guys going in on the inside. Uh, this will be the shock side where we got the second washer. We're gonna do upper and lower. Um, before I reassemble anything on this old beast, uh, to make it easier for the next time on reassembly, I do a little bit of the best stuff in the world, Annie C's. Um, not the best stuff in the world, but pretty darn good. Just put a little gouge on there, like that, and then we're going to get under, get that tight, and go from there. That is one mount on. Crank, crank. Just like so. And quite surprisingly, able to get that tightened without the second nut. I left that second nut on, so I would be able to uh, put a wrench on there, the 11 16 but turns out I did not need it. Now, same thing, a little bit of anti-seize for the upper. Estimating this one will be just a tiny bit harder to put on, uh, but we will see. And I think I see a problem, but we are going to just see what happens. We're going to play it out. Oh, my bad. That's three fourths. <laughs> A feeling that's gonna make things significantly easier. That did it. And that is why they cut those holes. Now, the part I'm worried about, there's a little bit of an offset between the lower and the upper, and I'm wondering if we are going to have an issue with alignment here. So, see if this works. Uh, do a magical word. Uh, we'll say, wait, 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 I gotta get a little pressure. Remove the strapping from shipping. And a little trick I like to do, I say Pamela Anderson, and it starts moving pretty quick there. We're going to get that on, recompress, get the upper, 
actually not too shabby. Look at that. Then washer to contain, washer to contain, and then again a little bit of anti seize. And ladies and germs, this is going to whoa, almost be the end here. Oh, right in the dirt. Always, I'm always the person that cleans up mid job and I just didn't today because my neighbors are kind enough to watch my daughter right now while my wife is with the baby and I am making this for a class. There we go, on and on. Finish it up. Remember the open side for turning. Ratchet would have made this a lot easier, but I want to dig for the sockets right now. Everybody. And I would say that is how you do the front shock absorbers on your 55, 56, 57, and I think 58, 59 Chevy 3100 truck. Thank you, AC Delco. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and make this a full time job. Peace. It always just amazes me at the end of a job. A pile of tools. I use the lead hammer to remove the bottom bolt. Just the extra hardware, which normally I used to save, but not too shabby. Long day, good day. Oh, add this to the trash pile. I know some of you might say craftsmen are trash. Yeah, not bad. No parts left over. <laughs>